on to case 2 in the DLR 100 series. Uh, this is an interesting CAT case, right? It's a frequency based chart case, not your typical uh, graph based cases. Um, small numbers given over here, uh, a short read, very few clues. This should make you take uh, this case, attempt this case at least, right? So, this is one of the easier cases which turned up. And again, a quick look at the questions will further, you know, uh, give you the confidence to take up a case like this, right? Uh, what is AMDA score in F? What is Zuma score in S? And some clues given over here about AMDA and Zuma and all of that. Now, you should look to attempt a case like this, right? So, let's get into the case itself. Simple happiness index of a country is computed on the basis of three parameters social support, freedom to life choice, and corruption perception. Okay, so what does this mean? Some index is being computed on the basis of three parameters S, F, and C. Fine, done. Each of these three parameters is measured on a scale of 0 to 8 integers only. Each parameter is given some rating, right? Okay, 0 to 8 only integers. A country is then categorized based on the total score obtained by this by summing the scores of all the three parameters. So S, F, and C, what's the highest score which can be given? 8, 8, and 8. That is 24. The lowest can be three zeros and zero itself. Okay. And um, what's happening over here? As shown in the following table, if the total score is zero to four, it's very unhappy. People aren't very happy over there. Okay. Five to eight is unhappy and so on till 20 to 24 is very happy. Great. The following diagram depicts the frequency distribution of the scores in S, F, and C of 10 countries A, B, C, D, E, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay. Some 10 countries given. The first letters are all unique and we have a frequency chart. Now, what is this frequency chart? It says that a score of 1 uh, was secured by two countries for which parameter? The orange parameter which is F. Right? So, that's a frequency chart. We need to understand this. Right? So, in case you do not know it, just Google frequency and you will understand what it means. Right? A score of uh, 1 was secured by one country for the green parameter C. Okay? So, a quick check over here. Uh, to, to, to further validate um, our understanding of frequency, right? The blue parameter, we have three countries with a three rating, three countries with a four rating, two with a five rating, one over here with a six rating and one over here. Now, three plus three is six, six plus two eight, eight plus one plus one is ten. All ten countries are accounted for, right? Um, so, once again, you can, you can quickly check for one of the others. Let's say the orange one, which is F, uh, two, one, that's three. 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 3, 9, and 9 plus 1, 10. Yes, correct. All 10 countries over here, right? So, therefore, uh, what we need to first do is get this into the, uh, I mean, write down all these possible numbers, right? So, S, F, and C, right? Uh, so, the S uh, parameter, right? S parameter, which is the blue, we had three countries getting a three rating, right? So, three countries with a three score. Three, three, three. Three came thrice and four came three times, okay? Four came three times and five came twice. You can write a five twice and then a six came once, okay? And a seven came once. You can just list it out for all of them this way. Once you do that and you form a table of sorts, right? For all of them, uh, you're going to get these values. You list them out and then you can match uh, with, with each of them. Uh, let us say you found somebody to have a 7 rating. You can strike it off and say Amda or Benga, whoever it is, under S got a 7 rating, uh, B got a, a 4 rating and so on and so forth. Right? You can match for each country against each of the ratings and strike them off over here. You don't need to keep looking at this graph every time. Right? The graph is going to be painful. Now, is this what you are required to do over here? Let us find out. Right? Uh, we have 10 countries, but the clues are very short. It just says A and C jointly have the lowest total score. Fine. Zuma over here has a total score of 17. A, C and Z are being spoken about. What about the other 7 countries? Nothing else is spoken about. And what are the questions? Well, there is one question on AMDA. Okay. A. One question on Z. And Benga and Delma, two countries categorized as happy, that has something to do with my third clue. So, always in cases, right, DLR cases, you need to also go through the questions to have an understanding of what you are required to do. Don't start listing out all the countries and try to match them over here. You don't have clues to do that. You are not required to answer those questions either, right. So, therefore, at this stage, instead of forming any other structure, 
while you have done this, move on to the clues and answer the questions, right? The first question over here is what is AMDA score in F? And what are the clues over here? AMDA and CALA jointly have the lowest total score 7 with identical scores in all the three parameters. Okay, first point pertains to AMDA. What about the second one? It's on Zuma who has a total score of 17. 17 is a very high score. AMDA over here and CALA have gotten just 7. They are very low scores. Right? These two are independent of each other. These two clues are independent of each other. There is no linkage. The third point, all the three countries which are categorized as happy. Uh, they have the highest score in exactly one parameter. Who is happy over here? Between 14 to 19. Very big once again. Very big once again. So AMDA or CALA, there is no linkage with the happy. right? So you can ignore them. So for the first question, the only clue you need to look at is the first clue. right? This particular first clue over here for the first question. And let's look at it right now. right? So um, what does it say? A and C jointly have the lowest total score, 7. Okay, with identical scores in all the three parameters. So A and C have the same score in S parameter, same score in F and the same score in C. Okay, so just draw a small table like this. Okay, and you need to have a sense that this is the a very small number, very, very small number. So if I want to give the lowest possible scores, right, lowest possible scores where it's identical for both of them. Right, A and C, it's identical. So S parameter, what is the lowest I can give? 3, there are two 3's. A could have gotten a 3 and C also could have gotten a 3. Great. F parameter, there are two 1's. F, A and C, both of them could have gotten 1 each. C parameter, can I give 1 rating over here for uh, both of them? No, there's only 1 1. The frequency distribution tells me that only one country got a score of 1. So I can't use a 1 over here. Right. Because Cala, uh, AMDA and Cala, both of them have to get a 1 rating. That's not possible. So therefore, the next lowest is 2. There are two 2s, right? So there were two 3s, two 1s and two 2s. This is fine, right? If I give the lowest possible scores and identical scores, right? It's coming to a total of 6. But I've been told that they got a score of 7. They jointly have a low score of 7, A and C put together. And I need to find AMDA score in F. So, which means for one of the parameters, right, from 6, if I have to bring it to 7, for one of the parameters, I have to increase by 1, the other two remain the same. Because there is only a plus 1 over here, right, a plus 1 over here to come here. The plus 1 has to happen for one of the parameters only, not, not two of them. For two of them, if you increase by 1, it comes to 8, the total can't come to 7, right, 6 becomes 8. So, let us see for which ones and let us look at a possibility 1, right, a possibility 1 over here. And can 3 be made 4? Are there 2 4s? Yes, that is a possibility, right? We can have a 4, this goes up by 1, the rest remain as 1 and 2, that adds up to 7. Let us look at a second possibility where 3 remains 3, right? 3 remains 3, let me write that clearly. And can F be increased by 1 and made 2? Are there 2 2s for me? No, there are not 2 2s. There is only 1 2. I need two twos because A and C both had identical ratings. That is not possible. This has to be a one only. Which means, can I increase C over here by one more? Is that possible? Are there two threes? Yes, there are. Three one three is another possibility. That is it. Either S can be one more or C can be one more. F has to remain as one. Right. So these are the two possibilities for A and C. Right. Uh, to have a total of seven, four one two or three one three for S, F and C. What is AMDA score in F? In F, in both scenarios, it's a 1 rating. Right? So that's the answer for the first question. On to the second question. What is Zuma score in S? What's the clue pertaining to Zuma? It's this one. Zuma has a total score of 17. Okay? Zuma has a total score of 17, and that's a very high score, and that's under the happy category. Right? So all the three countries which are categorized as happy have the highest score in exactly one parameter. That means if I give a 7 for Zuma over here, I can't give another 7 for Zuma. Right? What does it say? All the three countries, there are three countries in the happy parameter, they all have the highest score in exactly one parameter. So if I give the highest score of 7 for Zuma, let us say under S parameter for Zuma, I am giving the highest possible score, which is 7. 
for the other two parameters i cannot give a 7 or 6 i can give only the second highest score at best i'm looking for the maximum possible values why because 17 is a very high number very high number right you need to have a sense of small and big numbers 7 is very small we are focusing on the lower side 17 is a big number we are looking at the higher side so 754 the highest possible ones which i can give if s is a full rating the highest the second highest i can give us 5 and 4 over here and that adds up to how much that's a 9 plus 7 16 this is not working out for us right this is not working out for us this cannot be zuma's rating right because zuma is 17 for sure now what if zuma was the country which had a highest in f parameter right so an f parameter was the highest which means for f i'm going to give the highest possible 7 right and for s and c i can give the second highest only that's the max i can give and see if it is coming up to 17 does it 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 7 is 17 all right a 6 and 4 over here right is working out this is a possibility once again what's the thought process 17 over here is a very high number try to push and give the highest possible values and see if it's coming up to 17 if it's exceeding going up to 18 i know i have to reduce it a bit but no in this case it's just about fitting over there right so this is a possibility a 17 we have over here for zuma because we're told it's 17 and what about the last case what about the third one right c over here what if you had the highest score or zuma had the highest score in uh, c right that's going to be simple i'm going to give a six over here for the other two i can have the second best right that's the best i can do a six five six also adds up to 17 this is also a possibility for zuma right these are the only two possibilities 674 or 656 coming up to 17 what is zuma score in s in s in both these scenarios right both these scenarios it's a six rating for sure right six is the answer there on to the next one benga and delma two countries categorized as happy are tied with the same total score okay what is the maximum score they can have so benga and delma the other two countries categorized as happy there are three countries one of them is Z, Zuma, identified 17. Benga and Delma, B and D are the other two is happy. Uh, what is the maximum? I have to push and give them the highest possible scores. Okay. If I have to push and give the highest possible scores, what's the thought process? I'll draw a line over here and say, let me reserve these highest ones. Maximum. I'm trying to maximize. Let me give all of these to the top three countries, which are Z, B and D. Right. Um, one can be 754, one can be 673 or whichever it's going to be. But if these highest three ratings I'm going to be giving to those three countries, which are uh, Zuma, Benga and Delma has given over here, Benga, Delma and Zuma. Then what are these ratings all adding up to? The total rating, the highest possible total rating for all three. What's it going to be? Uh, a 7, 7 and a 6, that's 14 plus 6, 20. 20 plus 11 is, uh, 20 plus 11 and a 4, right? So 20 plus 15, that's a 35. 35 plus 10 is a 45, 45 plus 3, 48. So 48 is the grand total for all of these, highest possible three ratings for each parameter given to the top three countries. Now of this 48, I know Zuma has gotten 17 points. So let's subtract a 17 over here. I'm left with a 31, right? I'm removing Zuma's rating. So 31 should be shared by who? Benga and Delma, highest possible. But I am told, that Benga and Delma, both of them had the, the same rating, right? Can I split 31 as 15.5, 15.5? 15 no, decimals not allowed. The highest I can give are going to be 15 and 15. I can't give a 16 and 16 because if, I, if it's a 16 and 16 total, it's simply not possible. 32 is not there, right? There's only 31 available after 17 is taken up from 48. So at best, I can give a 15 and 15, right? We should be reasonably confident that 15 is a possible answer. You might also want to double check, all right? Double check. Let's look at a case. Let's say F was the highest for Zuma, right? F was the highest means 6, 7, 4, 17 is done. So Zuma over here, I'm done with 6, 7, and 4, right? Zuma is taken up. Or in fact, let me write it this way so that it's clear. Let's write a Z, all right? Meaning that these are taken up by Zuma. Now, Benga and Delma, if I'm saying 15 and 15 should work out, uh, what can I do? If 6 over here, Benga, 5 is 11, right? And 4 more I need to finish it. Benga can be over here, right? That's a 15. Now for Delma, can I get a 15? A D, highest 7. Then a 5, 12. 
and a 315 delma over here and i'm done right we've gotten 15 and 15 that's a possibility and we have reconfirmed it as well so third one is definitely option two now on to the fourth question if benga scores 16 and delma scores 15 now we are told that benga and delma have scored 15 uh, uh, 16 and 15 right so b over here is 16 not 15 i created a scenario where it's 15 but it's actually 16 right which means i have to give one more it can't be four it has to be full five right think once again i know it's 31 right if i'm giving the highest possible again the thought process give the highest possible numbers highest possible numbers means 48 is there 17 goes to zuma right this is zuma set and we're left with benga and delma the remaining 31 and i'm told that 16 and 15 are going to benga and delma it's correctly adding up to 31 so highest three scores everywhere have gone to z b and d right those three countries have taken those up now the question is what is the maximum number of countries with a score of 13 right how do i get 13 from the rest of them so next best and 13 is once again a quite a high number right what is the next best score i can give i can give 553 to some country and that adds up to 13 what is that what about the next best scores 4 4 and 3 now that adds up to only 11 there is no other way you can get a, a, a 13 right so at best you can have one more country one more country right c1 one more country with scores of 5 5 3 which comes up to 13 so therefore the maximum number of countries with score of 13 is option 2 1 so this is the kind of case which seems like you know it's quite tough with a lot of numbers uh, no calculator required that's why they give you the calculator on the exam it's just logic over here uh, go through the clues go through the questions understand what is required uh, don't jump into forming a full table and this is the how this is the way you go about solving a case like this